It's a dinosaur. Hey guys, it's Chris, and in today's video, I'm reviewing Jurassic World Dominion. Today's video is sponsored by Raise Energy by Rep Sports. Their website will be in the description. Use my coupon code, you'll get 15% off your next purchase. Demand more. Be more. Let's get into it. Jurassic World Dominion picks up four years after the events of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Owen and Claire must rescue Maisie from the evil corporation, Biosyn Genetics. Ellie and Alan must infiltrate Biosyn Genetics to find out what's going on with the Locust Project. Now, this movie does have two storylines going on at the same time, but in the end, they both meet up and they all finally meet up and connect. Next, I want to talk about what I liked about the film. Now, the dinosaur sequences in the film are pretty fun. I was pretty entertained whenever they had dinosaurs on the screen or Owen and Claire were getting chased by dinosaurs or the big massive gig gigasaurus at the end of the film. Like The dinosaur sequences are the best thing throughout the film. And the CGI looks good, so it's not like the CGI and the dinosaurs look bad. The CGI is good. Some of the dinosaur sequences are spooky. Some are fast paced. People are getting eaten. Like the dinosaur sequences are the best. And I can't forget one of my favorite dinosaur sequences. At the end, two dinosaurs fight another dinosaur. So instead of it being just like a one on one dino fight, it's two dinosaurs team up to kill this other dinosaur. And I quite enjoyed that fight. Like it's not as like climactic or as entertaining as like the dino fight at the end of Jurassic World. That one was pretty cool. They're fighting, they're biting, they're headbutting each other, they're smashing into buildings. But the one in Dominion, it's kind of very tamed. Like they're in the center of the sanctuary and the T-Rex is kind of getting his butt kicked and then this other dinosaur comes in and helps them and then they both team up and they kill this other Gigasaurus and the T-Rex is like you know what just stay right there keep your claws straight and he does and then the T-Rex pushes the Gigasaurus into the other dinosaur's claws and just impales him and then he just puts the dinosaur on the ground that's it and then they sit there both Rawr! so the dino fight was pretty entertaining at the end may not be the best one but it was still a pretty entertaining dino fight <laughs> another thing I like about this film Jurassic World Dominion pulls a Scream 5 and it brings in all the legacy characters from the previous movies, so not just Jurassic World. It does bring in a couple of those characters, but it brings in the three original characters from the Jurassic Park trilogy. So Ellie Sadler, Ian e. Malcolm, and Alan Grant. So those three legacy characters come back, and it's not like Scream 5 where they kill off one of them. No, they all survive. And they are kind of really the stars of this movie because they both get the same amount of screen time as Owen and Claire does. I mean, except Ian Malkin, he's kind of like in a couple scenes, but Ellie and Alan, they get a lot of screen time just as much as Owen and Claire do. And I thought it was really nice to see the legacy characters return and they definitely slipped right back into their role. I think they did really well. And I think a lot of people that like Jurassic Park or watched it growing up as a kid, the original Jurassic Park or even the original Jurassic Park trilogy, I think they're gonna be pretty happy seeing these legacy characters. Next, I wanna talk about what I didn't like about the film. Now, the Locust subplot, I thought that was quite boring. Like, I didn't really enjoy Ellie's and Alan's like, their storyline wasn't as good as Owen and Claire's. Like, theirs, Owen and Claire's, you see a lot of dinosaurs. There's a lot of dinosaur sequences. So, Ellie and Alan's storyline isn't really interesting. It's some stupid locust subplot, and I didn't really like it. It was kind of boring. I don't want to know about insects. I just want to see some dinosaurs. Like, it didn't really add anything new to the franchise. We have know, we know these evil corporation has been operating and breeding and evolving all these dinosaurs so it's nothing really new i don't want more insects i want to see dinosaurs in the world jurassic world and they don't really kind of do that title you don't really see much of dinosaurs in our world they give us a couple scenes of dinosaurs in our world like jurassic world like you think because it's jurassic world you're going to see dinosaurs in our world but you don't really see a lot of them in our world 
The Locust subplot takes up a lot of this movie, and it's just boring. And lastly, what I didn't like about the film is that the Gigasaurus, you don't really see the evil dinosaur and really until closer to the end. You see a couple scenes of it, and then you don't really see a lot of it until the final act. So I thought the Gigasaurus, that dinosaur, was very underused and disappointing. I'd give Jurassic World Dominion a D-. minus. I mean, the dinosaur sequences were fun, and they were pretty cool, but everything else, that's going to go extinct pretty quickly. But those dinosaur sequences aren't going to go extinct anytime soon. All right, that was my review of Jurassic World Dominion. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, don't forget that like and subscribe button. Peace!